So with this transition context, so we're going to be able to create the animation. So here we have this container view that we create, and this is where the animation will live. So we're going to be able to have the all view, which is going to be the original frame in that container view, but also the new view, and that's the one for the full screen. So that is what the transition context is for. So these lines of code, we're going to explain. So this is what it's for. We're going to have first a container view where we're going to have the old existing view added, which is the original frame. And then the new view is going to be created, but it's not going to be visible yet. So the new view is going to be added to the transitions container. Then we're going to have this method, which is very convenient because it's going to allow us to access the existing and the new view. So it's going to take one parameter. So that's going to be either UI transition context to view key or which is this one at the top. So that's going to be the two view. So this constant that we create right here. So we're going to be able to refer to the new view, which is going to be the full screen, final frame, and then the old view. We're going to refer to it, to it as UI transitions context from view key. And then finally, the new view is going to be added as a child to the container view. And that's something that we're going to be doing right below right here. So we're going to do that. We're going to add as a sub view to the container view. So to view, which is going to be the final frame. And finally, another step will be to bring to the front. So bring sub view to front photo view. So as you can understand, so what we want to bring to the front is the view that we have selected, which in this case will be the two view. So here we have this constant, which is photo view, and we're going to be able to return either two view. So that's the ternary operator. So that's that works like an if and else, but just on one line. So we're going to return either two view or the transition context from view key that refers to the initial frame. So because presenting is true, we're going to be able to return then the two views. So if it's true, we're going to return this first statement right here. And that is like, uh, that works like an else. So that's going to be the else. If it's else, then we're going to return the from view. So this is what represents the photo view. So we're going to bring to the front, whichever frame, so view is assigned to photo view. In that case, it's going to be the new view. I'm going to illustrate to you how the transition context works. So we have in the middle a container view. On the left, we have the front view, which is the collection view with multiple cells, pictures. And once we tap on the cell, we're going to want to see this one full screen. And that's going to be represented by this two view that we have on the right, and that's going to be the full screen. So once you tap on the cell, you're going to have the old existing view, which is going to be added to the container view. And we're going to have also added to the container view, the new view, which is going to be two view, but it's not visible yet. And then it's going to be brought to the front. So once the transition context is done doing the job, we're going to need to be taking care of the transformation of the new view in order to allow it to scale, in order to fill up the screen until we can see full screen for this new view. And we're going to be having so different constant here. So for the X and Y scale factor, in order to allow the new view, so that's going to be the two view, to scale up. And we're going to be doing that in the next video lesson.